So in my last video, I kind of touched a little bit on the wide receivers. Only because we were talking about Julio Jones leaving Atlanta, and then I read some pretty interesting comments, to say the least, in my last video. And that, that was not what the video was about. The video was really more about the OTAs, but I, I, I slid in a little bit of news about Julio Jones and how it seems like that anytime there's a big name quarterback, wide receiver, whoever it is, Everybody suddenly thinks that the Washington football team is going to be one of those teams that is interested in, in you know, these players. And, and so, of course, Julio Jones was no exception. And I made a comment saying that our wide receiving group is so crowded right now, there is no room for Julio Jones. Now, some people took exception to that because they were looking at it from the standpoint of Julio Jones has such talent. How can you say there's no room for someone as talented as Julio Jones? Let me just tell you that I by no means disagree with that. Julio Jones is one of the best wide receivers in the league, but I'm looking at this from a mathematical standpoint. And the standpoint just basically is the fact that right now we have like 12 wide receivers on the roster. And you know, I, I know that the, the, thinking is, well, who cares if we have 12 wide receivers on the roster? You have somebody like Julio Jones, who was better than probably at least half, you know, six of those wide receivers. Why would you not take the chance and sign Julio Jones? Well, here's the thing. It's not only about Julio Jones' talent. Yes, he would make any team better, I think. Although, I will say, look at the look at the Atlanta Falcons. Did they go to the Super Bowl last year? No. Did they go to the playoffs last year? No. They've actually had some pretty rough seasons the past couple of seasons now. That's not on Julio Jones. I'm just making the statement that even having a superstar like Julio Jones still doesn't guarantee you a trip to the playoffs let alone the Super Bowl. Having said that, the other thing is the fact that Ron Rivera wants the Washington football team to get younger. And so if you have wide receivers out there who are, you know, one year, two years removed from college, you know, Terry McLaurin is entering, what, his third season, I think, um, in, in the pros. And then you have young guys that you've signed, like Curtis Samuel and Adam Humphreys, and of course, drafting, Brown out of um, UNC. I mean, this is already looking like a young, really young, good, talented, speedy wide receiving corp. And sometimes you just have to realize that you got to create your own Jerry Rices or you got to develop your own superstar wide receivers. That's what I'm trying to say. So while I can most certainly get down to the fact of having someone like Julio Jones on my team, at the same time, I also want this team to have wide receivers that we might be able to have for 10 years. You know, maybe not, maybe not quite that long, uh, because that seems like a pretty long time for a wide receiver to, to stay on one football team in this modern day of NFL football. Having said that though, Ron Rivera wants this team to be younger. I want this team to be younger. Right now, the oldest guy on this team, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be, you guessed it, Ryan Fitzpatrick. And we all know that he's not going to be on the team for more than a couple of seasons at the most. So Washington is trying to get younger across the board. That's the reason why that we got rid of Morgan Moses. You know, we've had Moses for quite a while now. Nothing against Morgan Moses, but have a good, solid, young offensive line that can hopefully stick together for years to come. And then having really young wide receivers out there who could be speedy and fast and I mean we're building this thing right folks you know why do we want to go out and have other people's superstars when we really want to be able to create our own superstars I think that's really honestly I think that is the biggest point of, of this video it's kind of a response to some of the posts uh, some of the comments that I read and I by no means were you know 
was offended at any of the comments I realized you know being on YouTube you're going to get some mean comments you're going to get some hateful comments you're going to have people that will say you know you don't know what you're talking about and you're going to have other people who who dig you and you know that that's life man I you know I, I take the good with the bad but the, the the point I'm making is basically is this that we don't need Julio Jones to be a good team. What we really need to do right now is to develop the guys that we have on the team. That's why we have 12 wide receivers right now trying to bid for a roster spot and not all 12 of those guys are going to make it on the roster. Some of those guys are going to get cut outright. And there's going to be some surprise cuts as well. It's going to come down to having the guys, the cream of the crop, of these 12 receivers who rise up to the top and are clearly the best wide receivers out of everybody on the team. And I think in the end, you're gonna be very surprised with who those three or four top wide receivers might be. And that's all I gotta say about that. Held to the Washington football team. If you wanna become a Maniac supporter, please, you can start by subscribing to this channel. I try to put out videos at least once or twice a week. Please support us with that. You can also support us on Patreon. Your Patreon support definitely helps this channel, helps to kind of keep the lights on, so to speak. And with that, I just got to say that we got our very first Patreon sponsor. And I want to give a shout out to... I want to give a big shout out to my very first Patreon member. ATA Custom Painting, thank you so much for becoming a member of the Washington Football Maniacs. You are an honorary maniac. I just want to thank you so much for your support. Your contribution will help to build this channel. I love this team, this Washington Football Team, Washington Redskins, whatever you want to call them. I love this team. I want to support them by bringing great content to all of you and so certainly with your help and support I can accomplish that. So with that being said, thank you so much. Your name will show up in the credits of my next video and thereafter so be looking for that. Alright folks, take care and again ATA Custom Painting, thank you.